What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. This will be the spoiler free review for Chucky Season 2. Now I've only seen the first few episodes and by few I mean I've seen episodes 1 through 3. It was almost 4 but um, I didn't act quick enough before that was taken from me. So Chucky Season 2 is again revolving around Chucky targeting the kids, the teens that we met and now love in Season 1 along with his ex Tiffany. So after his diabolical plan to invade America's children's hospitals was foiled in Season 1, Chucky now seeks revenge on those he holds responsible the surviving teens of jake devin and lexi along with his ex tiffany who is now his sworn enemy now so far i would say chucky season two is on its way to being better than season one for me the arcs for lexi devin and jake hell i'll say even chucky they're just a lot more interesting this season mainly because again with season one you spend a good amount of time letting us grow connected to these characters versus having them as side pieces while we focused on our legacy cast now there are now since they are known and established characters in the universe what season two was able to do it plays around with that by balancing between the teens and then our legacy stars like tiffany and nika primarily lexi devin and jake are all sent to this school called incarnate lord to atone for their sins after a horrible accident occurs early on in the season and then also early on you'll learn jake is in a foster family now so there's your child's play two nod in this season it's jam-packed with nods and easter eggs just like the last one uh there's even some meta aspects and nods to i would say scream and when a stranger calls so he's diamond senior still keeping all of that here and live and alive and well with season two Devin and Jake's relationship is pretty rocky due to their distances becoming a problem. Lexi is now drowning out her anxiety from season one through boys and drug addiction mostly. When the series shifts to Tiffany's life, we get more context on what has happened after the events of Cult of Chucky and how Nika's life has been a complete mess since then. The writing this season seems to also be pulling back more layers to Lexi's character. This will make more sense in the first few episodes when you see her life at Incarnate Lord with the boys because she is developed a lot more interestingly so far compared to Devin and Jake. So writing overall is just delivering more compelling storytelling, more compelling storytelling this season. Because again, what happens is once your newbie characters are established and you're able to get your audience invested in them, now you can play with that by presenting the characters with more difficult challenges to overcome. And that's what Chucky season two is doing so far. Drug addiction and relationship drama, of course, isn't something only teens deal with, but the young adult format of the series is effectively still incorporating more teenage struggles for these kids as they age while still, of course, being about Chucky and his goal to destroy them all, plus Tiffany included in all of this. Season one, I would say, was Jake and Devin's struggles to come out, dealing with that, dealing with bullies, coping after the death of a loved one for Jake, etc. Season two is Jake and Devin fighting to keep their relationship afloat with religion now thrown into the mix, coping with the loss of their relatives, since we know that grew towards the end of season one. Also dealing with Lexi overcoming her drug addiction and just more bullying. So there seems to be an anonymous shot caller this season as well that's being hyped up regarding Chucky uh, and what What's going on there with him and his connection to incarnate lord so these details with season two's narrative is making it more compelling similar to season one it's clear there's separate arcs that will collide into one big explosion in the end and so far i fear that the results this time will blow season one out of the water and it'll just be a phenomenal season compared to season one when we go back and revisit this series down the road i wouldn't be shocked again if this season ends up being considered like the child's play two of the tv series I find the pacing and the dialogue to be a lot better this season as well. I will say that Chucky's bit from the trailer about having more kills than someone has Insta followers, it does feel very in line with his character. When you go back and rewatch the series, you can see Chucky has always tried to talk to a demographic he's targeting by using language they could relate to. Of course, at times it's intentionally uh, offensive as well. Uh, but also that's that's just the nature of chucky <laughs> it, although i will say that the insta followers line is perhaps the most cringy because like consider these these lines even something as simple as we're friends to the end saying that to a six-year-old or chucky's gonna be a bro in reference to uh, into invading the body of tyler who we know is black although again the insta line is the cringiest performance wise olivia is still tearing the others apart as far as i can see she captures the anxiety in lexi so well you have tilly 
who is shining is Tiffany, whose desperation tease at the end of season one is just in full effect now as she tries to keep her glamorous life as Jennifer Tilly intact while trying to avoid Chucky and maybe possibly starting a relationship with Nika as well. So, you know, that was talked about by her in season one. Watching Tilly's energy in the role has always been a pleasure and season two just continues to demonstrate why her character is a lovable maniac. Zachary, I know for a lot of people, he was lacking in season one. I can say he's an improvement this season. For anyone out there who couldn't stand him, I think he's doing much better as Jake. The delivery is more convincing, and I find that he's now more effective at displaying Jake's emotions. Gore is still a plus, as it should be. You won't have to wait long before you see someone get their throat slit, head blown off, or even have their chest obliterated. Although I've only seen a few episodes, I can't say that season two so far is topping season one in the gore department just yet. Chucky season two continues to continues the great practical effects from the first season because I know personally for me after watching Curse of Chucky and all that CGI use that made me so eager to see more practical work again with the doll and season two continues to deliver that just like how season one was you won't have to wait long before you get to see Glenn and Glinda and I again will say even though many of us probably would have liked this series to start on the legacy characters season two seems to be doing a much better job at balancing a narrative between them and now with our with our established trio of teens that we're invested in the television format for this universe is working, and although I didn't get to watch episode four, I will say that that fourth episode, I'm told, is a prime example of why this format is working for this universe. Because episode four is a Tiffany-centric episode, and you will apparently get to catch up with her, Glenn, and Glinda, and I guess learn whatever they've been through. Uh, and that also might be the episode in particular where that audition tape is relevant. I know I did a video talking about an audition tape for season two as well. Episode four is also going to have a big shock. So if you want to note that and get excited for episode four, I'm telling you right now, there's a big shock. Yes, I know what it is. I just didn't get to see the episode. So far, Chucky season two, again, for me, it's on the verge if it continues like this to being better than season one. I just need more gore. Uh, and that's really it. I just need more gore. It's on its way to being better than the first season. And it's not really that hard to understand why. Because they've done a good job with that first season at establishing a group of teens to grow invested in. Now they're playing with those teens as well as our legacy cast that we all know and love. While still reintroducing characters like Glenn and Glinda. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.